So let's have a quick look at this. Uh, Hostiles, Oaktown, Project Atlas, makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, so they have sell for many. Oh, two standoffs. Yep. Right, which are yeah, pretty pretty right? clutch for resing those archers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and that Corp Town, of course. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, three Rashida Jaheem. Three uh, Maddies. Yeah, the 153 is the SSL endorsement. Right. There's a few other cards that could go in that slot pretty, uh, pretty okay. Mm -hmm. uh, some stuff like, for example,. Um, I can't remember the new name of that uh, agenda, but it's uh, every time the runner accesses it, they take damage dependent on the number of advancement counters on it. Right, yeah. Yeah, uh, so there's some there are options there, but of yeah. course SSL is just yeah. quick, Great easy money. money. Yeah. Uh, safe money. Yeah, safe, safe money. Yeah. Anything is a safe money, right? Yes, yes. Of course, uh, there is an inherent liability in having a three-point uh, agenda in right. your deck, but you make that concession in order to play stuff like standoff. Right. So what are we looking at here on Michael's side? Looks like... Uh, Pretty standard Shaper. value shaper. Yep. Yep. Uh, we have Lamb, which is a nice little piece of tech that's yep. been uh, getting a lot of play recently. Yeah, uh, Angolo. all over the place actually. Yeah, even outsider shaper. Yes, just, it's yeah. true. It's it's a very good yep. card. Like no yep. no bones about yep. it. Uh, of course, splashing into Anarch, paying that sweet three influence for a paperclip, right. which is just one of the most reliable mm -hmm. sentry. Uh, sorry, uh, barrier breakers, and will continue to be so. Like there won't be another fractal printed nope. that will be better than <laughs> yeah. it. We know that for sure. Right. Um, otherwise, looks pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty there's much. there's stuff like Rubicon Switch. There's stuff like Maxwell James. Yeah. So there is an ability to play a remote denial style gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, the the gist of the deck is just your typical value shaper. Yeah. You want to get the magnum opus set up. You want to get your breakers going. Yeah. You want your value resources going. Uh, once you have everything set up like that, you're kind of Kind of sets right. you. You can thread in almost everything. Yeah. Uh, here we go. So Michael's running click one into R and D right. just for a quick sniff. Uh, hitting a Enigma. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I guess that was click two. Yep. Uh, so now. Now running. Running hit H Q. Right. Seeing a Hordum, but not really being able right. to do much with it. Uh, he's still at five credits. However, Luke uh, is going to install well, advance advance. Yeah. Uh, hostile, hostile takeover. Yep. yep, there it is. So that's gonna get seven credits yep. uh, on his end. And however, Michael now has a bad publicity works right. with, um, which is something that he can leverage very effectively with stuff like SMC and yep. other trash speed mm -hmm. items. Um, doing stuff mid run, saving yourself the credit. While it may seem like a little bit, like if you can do that and compress a run into it, it feels pretty nice. Yep. Be, because both players have full knowledge of each other's deck lists, um, Michael is running with a little bit more uh, liberally than he normally would. Like right. if you were scared of stuff like uh, economic warfare uh, and hard hitting news, Traps, you, you would definitely not do this. Down. But because we have here full knowledge game, uh, we're gonna see some plays that, while on the surface seem a little risky, are actually pretty safe. Yeah, yeah. You would you probably wouldn't do this through uh, round robins or mm -hmm. Swisses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Swiss is uh, the danger zone. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, that Shark Tank has just the worst surprises for you. <laughs> Every once in a while, like a player goes rogue and hits you with something that you don't expect, and you're just like, "Well, oh, 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 <laughs> oh that's it." <laughs> okay, so we have an MO up on uh, Michael's side. Mm -hmm. He is going to have a consistent source of money, unless, of course, uh, something bad happens to it, like a hunter seeker. Right. Um, but as is, okay. So uh, actually, Luke is re choosing to remove the self-modifying code mm -hmm. from the game. Um, that's fine, I yeah. think. Like, uh, decent idea. I don't think th there's much yeah. else going to be happening here. So he's going to get a server going. Yep. He's going to jam a, an oak town, uh, advance it one time, right. get a ca get a credit off of that again. Yep. All right. So as is, Michael has an indexing in hand, right. but of course there is an open enigma or a res enigma on yeah. R&D, so you can't really leverage that right now, barring um, some other good stuff happening. Right. Uh, at the moment, it looks like Luke's going to get some quick points on the board, mm -hmm. uh, provided that uh, Michael maybe doesn't draw anything relevant with the diesel. Right. But nope, nope. we're going to we're going to hit uh, Mo. We're going to score the Oak Town. Uh, we're now at three points to zero. Uh, of course, we see Sung Ho's watchful hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, putting them there over there. Make sure. it for Thanks, Thanks there Sung Ho. <laughs> Keeping his board state clean. <laughs> yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be the neatest board state uh, ever. It, right? it is always the neatest board state ever. I oh. feel I feel corrected. <laughs> okay, so we're getting the SMC on the board, uh, Cabanizo style. 
Uh, we're going to... Uh, so we're not going to remove it from game. Yeah. Uh, because that's pretty early on in the turn. There might be a more opportune target coming later mm -hmm. on in the clicks. Um, don't know, though. We'll see We'll see what yeah. Michael digs up here. Angle. Yeah, looks like a... Uh, I'm not as familiar with the new cards as yeah. much, but that is an Angolo. Yeah, it looks like it, yep. Uh, uh, when you count yeah. a piece of ice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Reasonable numbers. Yeah. yeah, that's a good bunk for... Yeah. Um, so it's the Code Gate version of land, pretty much, Yeah, right? pretty much. Yeah. But that's uh, those are some sweet numbers. You can break, um, you can break DNA Tracker for, uh, looks like... Five? I that's think so, a, yeah. a, Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, there's indexing. Here's an indexing, firing. Engolo, of course, allows him to pressure yeah. pretty effectively here. Uh, uh, so... There's, a, there's at least one agenda in there? Yeah, it, it, is, it might be just a standoff, which yeah. is not something he's really yeah. that interested nope. in. Uh, Max, he's going to maybe bear the fast track. Yeah, there's a bunch of ice, yeah. Possible. There's a bunch of ice coming down the pipe. Or, sorry, a bunch of operations coming down the pipe. Uh, maybe tossing that to the bottom of the deck, noticing yeah. that like there's not really much fruit he can uh, he can pick here. Mm -hmm. uh, so Michael, of course, offering the gentleman's uh, gentleman's removed from <laughs> game. Luke thinking, <laughs> yeah. and then reneging, mm -hmm. and then taking it away. Oh, there's that hunter single seeker. access hunter seeker. Uh -oh. Of course, yeah, it's so. not online right now because um, Michael hasn't scored anything this turn. Right. Uh, just popping two mo credits. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, hitting MO twice, Luke mandatory drawing for the turn, getting an audacity. Yep. Um, he is, if he can score another two-pointer, he's uh, well Pretty positioned to win, yeah. to win the game. Yeah, right now, Michael is just a little bit slow on the uptake. Uh, had that indexing proved more fruitful, it could have been a different story, yep. but that was just a stone whiff on mm -hmm. his end. Of course, because we know that Luke is not seeing any agendas in the yeah. next five cards, uh, apart from that looks, what looked like a standoff. Hand -off, yeah. It's fine. Like he can, Michael can chill for a little bit. Of course, he doesn't... Um, he doesn't know that. Right? Well, he, he well, knows he it a little does. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the worst that could happen is that Luke had um, yeah. an agenda still left in hand. Right. Then kind of just uh, yeah. jammed out consistently. But um, if he doesn't jam an agenda in the remote yeah. right now, he Please. knows that's pretty safe. Okay, so he's getting another ice on R&D. Luke knows that R&D is the vulnerable part here. Mm -hmm. There's not really that much uh, heinous things that uh, yeah. Michael can do to HQ right now. Um, uh, I don't think Michael has any answer to Hunter Seeker. Uh, if we take a look at his deck list, it doesn't look like he's playing Sacrificial Construct or, uh, or Film Critic. Uh, no, it doesn't, no. Uh, so he's kind of just yeah, a seat kinda, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, seat of his pants here. Uh, how many copies of Ungolo does he have in the deck? Just uh, a single one? He has one single. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course, as is tempting when you have an identity like Kabanisa, you, yeah. you're going to skimp on copies right. of your breakers in order to fit in more uh, econ and more draw. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a Beth Kilrin Chang hitting the table. Um, this is bad. If that Ungolo is gone, then yes, it is yeah, GG. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Um, like, he can't... Archives is fruitless for him right now. Right. Um, of course, that is part of the main reason why Anarch is so fun and effective is because you can pressure with uh, Omar Rebirth. Right. That line of play is always available there. Um, as is, uh, Shaper does not really have much to do with Archives. Right. So uh, as long as Luke kind of keeps his R&D impenetrable Which he seems to have it pretty set up right now. Then he's, go he's well favored to yeah. win this game. Does he have any backup decoders? Yeah. Uh, doesn't look like it. No backup no, decoders no. in uh, that list. He's just uh, leading yeah. heavily on uh, the Engolo. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, when Engolo, he goes, goes high. Yeah. Um, okay, so the Nanoke hitting the table. Nanotech. Right. Yep. Um, LLDS Memory Diamond as well, kind mm -hmm. of like uh, pseudo yeah. pseudo console. Um, what did what did Luke install there? Did we did we get a chance no. to check it out? Yeah. yeah. No, we okay. don't know. What's the influence for Michael? Michael, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, legwork, stim hack. Two copies? Uh, yeah, two copies of stim hack, two copies of Rubicon Switch, uh, two copies of Maxwell James, and uh, the paper clip. Single clip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and learned. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, I, so yeah, I so think that's it. That's where it's um, Luke, yeah, is Luke gonna, knows what's in his list, right? Yeah, he knows he there's knows, only one angle. He knows angle. what's up. He's going to shoot so, that. He's going to shoot that breaker. Yeah, there it yep. is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. What an what an angle shooter. Yeah. Uh 
Okay, this is real bad. He's got no way to <laughs> no. break code gates. So right. like, this is tough times. Yeah. Does he even? He doesn't have an AI breaker, rocking mm, like an Omakura or something no. like that, right? No, he no. was just relying on single yeah. copies of some granted very good yeah. shaper breakers. He has lamb. Oh, so okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's he can true. switch it across. Yes, that's right? a fair point. But right? he can turn it into yeah. a barrier and just kind of yeah. go for it. Yeah. Um, so he's all is not lost yet. No. But it's going to be, be pretty, pretty hard prohibitive. and uh, pretty pricey. Yeah, yeah is, is, it, pricey. is Lamb once per turn? As yeah. Well? That's okay. Problem, so if he right? double stacks the code gates, yeah. then that's not something yeah. that he can really uh, attack. Yeah. Uh, this looks like dire straits for Michael, but let's see what happens here. He's still rocking at zero points. Uh, mm -hmm. Luke successfully ruised him into running that server <laughs> and taking the standoff. Right, and uh, because of that, he just opened up the hunter seeker that he did know about actually. Right, so like even if that play netted him an agenda, he saw the standoff. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, that's yeah. true. Yeah, he saw the standoff, and he saw the the um, rest of the cards. And he for saw the most part. Yeah, right? he saw yeah. the hunter seeker as well. So yeah. like he should have known. Uh, or at least surmise that that was kind of Luke's uh, like main most play. likely play. Most yeah. Like, yeah, considering yeah. that like Luke had a turn after the indexing, uh, mm -hmm. and if that was if that was a turn to jam, that was a turn to jam. Right. Like, if yeah. he had a if he had a card in hand uh, and yeah. another agenda yeah. to go on with, yeah, he would have just slammed it in the server when the right. going was good. I think in that case you take the risk. Yeah. You know, Luke puts it in. He puts one. Sure. Right. right? And he, he gets he gets two. He points. gets a two points at yeah, max. Right. Right. And at that like at this point you're locked out hard. Like yeah. You, really, you got to really, start digging. You got to start digging. Um, yeah. And he only has one copy of Lamb, right? yeah. so he's... Yeah, right now, uh, one of his SMCs has been removed from the game already. Right. Yeah. Uh, Luke making sparing but effective use of his, uh, his Scorpios ability. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yeah. pardon us, apparently we were, were a bit too loud. loud. Yeah, okay, so um, yeah, this is, gonna, this is bad. Like, yeah. um, oh, he's oh, seeing another Hunter Seeker. So there's not much else no, like there's a deep. oh there's a okay so he's got some money going mm -hmm. which is quite nice um he's got the LS LDS memory diamond so he's got enough link to enable the underworld contact mm -hmm. um he's making slow and sure cash as well as uh whatever incidental benefit he gets from Beth Killer and Chang right now it's drawing him a card right. per turn um, this is good for him in as much as uh, he's not like economically locked out, right. but he might just be breaker done on lock material. Breaker locked out. Yeah. Like you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have the right piece for the job, like you're, you're just not, not getting in. Yep. Right. Especially now with Luke uh, carrying a redundant copy of Hunter Seeker mm -hmm. in his hand, um, he can just jam whatever agenda he draws next right. into that server. And if Michael goes in for it, uh, yeah. uh, exactly like there that, uh, then he shoots whatever relevant piece is left over. So mm -hmm. he can shoot the the sentry, uh, he can shoot the killer, right. or if uh, Michael finds a fractor, which would also serve as his code gate breaker, yeah. his decoder, um, it's just going to end up. So here he's running HQ. Uh, that's a Tithonium. Mm -hmm. uh, this is real bad because he has no recourse against yep. it. So losing that, yep. losing that, that, and ending and the run. Right. Trashing a resource, I'm assuming the Beth is going. Yep. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Bye bye, Beth. Beth? Yeah. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I think he just drew another Beth, though. No, I mean, that's nice. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, Hitting up the Rubicon switch. So, assuming that Michael can keep an economic advantage, he can start Rubicon switching to force Luke to kind of just um, right. re res stuff that he doesn't Although, want right to now, Luke's ice is. Is his cheap ice is his keeping, cheap him, ice out, is so keeping him out? Yeah, it's not the biggest. Yeah. Uh, he, of course, that is a big disincentive. Oh. Uh, that's Alice right. with a counter right. on it. Uh, this is really bad yeah. for Michael because yeah. uh, Luke can kind of pseudo chain here, yep. where he go, he goes Atlas again and then hostile takeover for mm -hmm. the win. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not much Michael can do about it for now because he's out his magnum opus. There's his paperclip, which right. is kind of I don't know if I think he waits for Luke to jam before he installs that. But like I mean, at that point you're so behind on agendas that Luke has enough hunter seeker to really just close the game out. 
he can afford to lose like th up to yep. like four or five agendas. Yeah, pretty much. And still not lose a game. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. This is kind of gross. And I don't think Michael has the money just to get through, even if he does take it. Right? Yeah, so there's an audacity. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like the final nail in the coffin yeah. here. Uh, he's, he's probably going to install that Marcus Batty, Batty. Just, as, just for uh, a quick ruse into that remote server there. Right. Um, at this point, do you really need to? But, I mean, right now that just might be enough to keep Michael on, like, the worst foot. Right, just uh, to kind of force him to... Right, uh, like for no gain whatsoever. Right. And if he can do that one more time, then I see very little way that he can lose this game. Yep. Um, when you have a circumstance... Okay, so he's actually just resing right. yep. the... Um, Fast track. Resing the Marcus yep, Batty. that's it. That's pretty much... Yeah, so like uh, playing around interdiction, I think. Yep. 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 Right. Yep. So... Uh, good, good on him. Uh, he's getting the Atlas up. He's got an ice wall resed and uh, only eight credits there. So you're not going to see like the most threatening ice mm -hmm. out of this deck. Uh, uh, but of course, um, the alternate cost on... I'm, I'm not sure he wants to do that at this point considering how many agenda points he has. Right. But he can uh, pay the alternate cost on Tithonium. Um, he can res like, uh, his lower stuff like Roto Turret. Yep. Uh, as is... There's not really much yeah. way that Michael no. can get in here. Yeah. Um, in a circumstance like this, it's generally when a Shaper player defaults to hammering R&D right. as hard as they can. But because uh, Michael lost his key decoder, yeah. what really makes this deck hum and makes it able to kind of threaten the accesses that it does, it's just going to be Pretty like a hard. choke out here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Luke has top. Right, so Michael runs it. I think he has to. He's not trying to Mm-hmm. So he pays for the one bad pub right. to break with paperclip. Yeah. And We're continuing on on the server here. He's hoping... Yeah. If he removes from game, I mean, it's even more good game. Right. Like triple GG if yeah. um, if paperclip goes off. Right. Oh, here's oh, a roto. Bye-bye, yeah. paperclip. RFG Done. paperclip. Uh, Michael knows what's up. Yeah. Uh, run is ended. Right. Uh, Luke can now we'll score that up. Yeah, he can money up with impunity yeah. here. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I was there even a consideration there? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. Like, no. No. Yeah. This is the good. moral victory here. You managed to uh, completely remove from game the three <laughs> core breakers. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, interesting. No, interesting. Yeah. He shouldn't mm -hmm. have rezzed the road. No. Does he have something? Oh, know? because oh yes, it's because uh, now Michael's gonna Rubicon switch. Him. Right. Yeah. And that's not the worst. There's nobody. Yeah. yeah like he, he got the paperclip yeah. out of the way. Yeah. It's now like. Yeah. Every single piece of end the run ice is yeah. going to just end the stop run. Everything. Yeah. Uh, with impunity here. Yeah. Um, Luke has enough time here to just chill out a bit. He's gonna get his hedge fudge going. Yep. Um, One. Yeah. Single advancement. Uh, he can't unfortunately do have his cake and eat it too and, yeah. and have the hedge fund and, and the advancement right. counter. Uh, I don't know. I think if I were in Luke's shoes, uh, I would maybe just go credit hedge fund first. Yeah. Just because uh, you, you really have the time to do it. Yep. Uh, but he's pitching the remainder of the hand. Uh, he's going just to get an Atlas going with yep. no counter on it, which right. is fine because yep. next turn yep. is GG. Hostile, he yep. pulls out the hostile and that's that. Yep. Yeah. No hand, but... You can't get Michael yeah. can't get into R and D, right? Yeah. So he can't even do the shaper the shaper seppuku of uh, clicking Magnum Opus four <laughs> times because it's gone now. Yeah. So he's yeah. just gonna draw and see if like his deck offers him any recourse here. There's a stim hack yeah. there, which is okay, like so he needs, yeah, if he got the SMC the, maybe, mm -hmm. but like there's just too much redundancy there. Yeah. Um, I think that's there's a. One, okay, two, so three, just yeah. checking archives yeah. to see if there was any incidental agendas in there. Nothing. There was not. And I think that's pretty much it. Yep. So Game. he draws, yep. he pops Counter. the Atlas. Hostile done. Yeah, here comes a hostile. Ooh. Is he going to go through it? No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just take him at yeah, his yeah. word that there's a no hostile. But of course, yeah. we have his full deck list. Yeah. 
good game. Um, yep. Michael had a chance right at the beginning, um, yeah. but Luke was just able to Hunter Seeker out his key pieces when it was yeah, necessary. Yeah. There was a tough time where Michael feeling relatively safe against um, against any sort of program destruction, something like Rota Turret, etc., ran into unrezzed ice with uh, with the Nanake, uh, yeah. the Nutke. Nanotech, I don't ever yeah. know how to say that yeah. card. Um, but of course, hitting a Tithonium just yeah, it doesn't, ruined yeah. him. Mm -hmm. He wasn't. He lost his uh, Magnum Opus. He right. lost his Nanotech. Yeah. He lost his Beth Killer and Chang. Yep. And that was just enough for Luke to yeah. get it going. Yeah, I think yeah. Mike, you know, maybe s ran maybe a bit too much, or I just, think so. He was a bad little, maybe some bad timely runs. He was a little too eager yeah. on uh, on the runs. I think yeah. uh, the temptation, of course, against an, uh, a deck like Scorpios, which is also attempting to rush you at the same time, is to kind of run with that uh, liberal attitude. Yeah. But um, of course, if the Scorpios player has the material necessary to pull a successful ruse, right. then you're going to end up way behind on yeah. board.